Okay, then, once again, good morning to all. So, today we are going to start with the next topic in MRP, that is MRP execution method. Means, what are the different thing codes which we can use to run MRP? Okay, so this is going to be our topic of today's session. Now, what are the different methods of MRP run? Okay, we will have total MRP run, that is MG01. There is a two T code in that, online MRP, offline MRP. Online MRP means we can execute it real time, and offline means we can run it by ground. Okay, then single item planning, interactive planning, scope of planning, and different MRP procedures. We are going to try to cover today. Okay, so let us start with this. Uh, so, as you can see, there is a total planning. So these are the different planning modes. Okay. So first is the total planning. Planning of all water in you know, a one or more plant. That is MD01. So this is the T code which you are going to use most of the time. Okay. Whenever you have to run MRP for one particular plant, MD01. Okay. Let me show you on screen. If you see my screen, MD01 is the T code. Okay. Here you can provide scope of planning. We will discuss what is scope of planning. But suppose you have to take MRP run for whole plant 1000. And in that case, you can use the T code MD01. Okay. Now, what does this mean? You are running plant 1000. It means that whatever material are going to be have MRP type PD. Uh, last session we talk about. Our session we talk about prerequisite of MRP. What was that? If the planning file entry is activated for the particular plant, okay, and the valid MRP type means if your materials are having MRP type as a PD and there is no block kind of status for the material, we are simply okay to proceed for particular material. So, in this T code, okay, in this T code, we are going to check that for plant 1000. What are the different materials are eligible for MRP run? Okay, all those materials, suppose there are 500 materials which are eligible for MRP run, the system will start taking MRP run for that all 500 materials. And if you provide the details and start taking MRP run, here itself it is called as an online MRP run. Okay, here we call it online MRP run. We are going to take a mark in a background. So, foreground means what? Here you are going to take a mark. You will press enter, enter, enter button and it will start running. Now, what is going to happen when you take what is the disadvantage of this online MRP? What is the disadvantage of this online MRP run? Is that when we start MRP run on this plant level, it might take three hours, four hours. We don't know exact timing because it's a huge data. Again, you understand there are six steps. Okay. Uh, your product is going to run. Remember, the six, six steps we are going to perform on each material, uh, header material, then bomb component and net component till the time which reach to the lowest component of the material, okay? So it is going to keep on happening for all the material continues, okay? Like this for header material, then the bomb material, and till the raw material. So it will take some time, three hours, four, four hours, okay? We are not sure. It can be, can you see my screen again? I guess you can see my screen now. Uh, yes, sir, we can yeah. see. Okay, thanks for confirmation. So, this, this uh, kind of, uh, let me open this slide. So, T code MD01 is going to be at plant level, plant level, but technique it is in the foreground, or oh, sorry, it is online or foreground, okay, both are same, online or foreground. It is going to consume your bandwidth, okay. 
take too much time. Okay. So if you take MRP run with this T code MD01 in the foreground or online, and you press enter, enter. I'm not going to press. Nobody okay, do it. Okay. Otherwise, what happened? It will take too much time. Yeah? And that will consume your bandwidth. Okay. So in this T code, we are going to uh, take MRP run for whole plant. That is first thing. Okay. At plant level. Now, then what is the use of having this T code? Can we have something option to that? You understand the problem over here? That is going to take too much time, almost four hours to five hours. Okay. Five hours. So it is assumed that you should not close your laptop, you should not shut down your server, you should sit in front of your laptop. Th those person or suppose you are taking that MRP, you have to stand uh, sit in front of your laptop for next four to five hours till the time is uh, processing not complete. And you are aware if you are not running the T code and uh, if your system is idle, it will automatically log off, right? After 10, 15 minutes at a time. So somebody has to be sit there, keep moving the cursor and ensuring that laptop is on. So don't you think it is a tedious job or it is a uh, non validating activity? Nobody really want to go for this activity, okay? Because it is just sitting in front of a uh, system and for four or five hours doing nothing, essentially mouse is moving, okay? So this is uh, going to be a time consuming or a well non validated activity. So what happened? So there's another T code is developed, which is called as 